amazing. Um, as we mentioned in the, the introduction, Brian, one of your biggest achievements was with R&D tax credit company Jumpstart, which at its peak was the fastest growing SME in Scotland. I've heard this story a couple of times and it's a good story. Take us through the, the Jumpstart story. Well, I met the guys at a, a business lunch. It was a banking lunch for maybe 20 people. And Jumpstart, Don and Richard, who were two of the founders at that time, presented and I really liked the business idea. So I offered to go back in that afternoon and just look at their business and say, well, um, I'm pretty interested in what you're doing. I'd like to discover more. And that started probably about a three or four month period where I invested a lot of time and effort in order to find out more and how this business could grow. Um, there were a couple of guys in a loft conversion uh, in Edinburgh. They had a Smeg fridge, a coffee machine, and I think three customers at the time. So before much longer, we agreed a deal and I decided to invest time, effort and money into the business. I became a shareholder and we ended up with four founders and we embarked upon a mission of how do we grow this business really quickly. Slightly difficult environment, 2008 was a period where we had just started a recession, so there was no debt available, no equity. Our business model was to do things on a contingent basis. If I get you money back, you give me some of it. It took nine months from start to finish, so that was our payment terms. We couldn't afford to employ anyone, so we had that conundrum, how do we grow with no money, and yet we need to exist for at least nine months before the first customer brings cash in. That uh, made me look at the situation of what's the solution to that problem, and I remember my wife and I, one Christmas New Year, doing a bit of a flip chart, and we got that uh, eureka moment to say it's dead simple. We just need to find people who are willing to work for nine months and not get paid. Which sounds uh, crazy at the time, but we said, well, I was willing to do that because I worked for no money for probably the best part of a year with Jumpstart without any income. How could I do that? How could I find others that were like me? And that led me to look at senior people that tended to be retired early or fully retired and they still had a lot of skills and attributes. They had great black books. They actually knew how to speak to chief execs and FDs, which were our target market. And, and they could afford to work for long periods without money because they were in a semi-retirement or retirement basis, so they had an in, enough income. And I put a case to them to say, you could earn quite a bit of money, six figures, and I did the calculations to show them. And I managed the, the, to recruit the very first person, ex-director of Scottish Enterprise, and he did remarkably well. And that led me to eventually, over the course of the next 18 months, I trained and recruited 49 throughout the UK, and they tended to be all elderly. As I would say, they'd put, been put on the scrap heap by their employer. So I badged them Dad's Army because they were actually responsible for the massive growth that we got. We changed the model later on in our evolution, they were the people that really led the charge for me.